On this bumpy 50-point inspection, I have another one from Modest Man Brewing out of Keene, New Hampshire. This one's called Paid in Full. It is a double IPA at 7.6% ABV. Don't know what the IBUs are. Uh, it does have Galaxy, Strata, and Citra hops in it. Uh, don't know much about Strata hops. Galaxy, I mean, I could tell you that that is an Australian hop. Uh, says musky tropical fruit like apricot key lime black currant type flavors um, citra hops are typically kind of on the citrus side I think sometimes they say they can have lime notes and stuff like that my chart says tropical fruit including peach passion fruit and guava that's from the United States strata I don't really know much about it like I said I don't have it on my hop chart I didn't look it up I was trying to find some information on this beer uh, there's nothing on this <laughs> uh, I mean there's there's some scores and stuff on untapped but I was looking for a story uh, behind why it's called paid in full I know that there's another beer called paid in full from um, is it withered souls or something like that um, down in Virginia so I didn't know if it was this kind of collaborative thing uh, that went towards any cause or anything like that so I don't know no information uh, cool can art though on this one uh, from modest man it's uh, you got all, all the wolves how howling at the modest man moon so I really like the, uh, the can art in this see they don't usually do too too much it's usually they're just their their symbol with uh, sometimes I mean if you get like the mega stuff like that you'll have the the whole gas mask thing but yeah uh let's go ahead and get into this one anyways and uh give it a score okay so we have fairly tight frothy white head uh kind of an orange a deep orange i think some people might even consider this like a light amber but not to me amber's more of a red color uh, this is definitely though a deep orange, maybe even a burnt orange. And it is very hazy and or murky like. Some aromas out of this one. Yeah, apricot for sure. Citrusy, apricot, kind of a, a bit sweet. I'd say a little bit, um, it's coming off, it's like almost floral-esque, uh, but it's more like a, I don't want to say grapefruit because it doesn't really smell like grapefruit but it's along that line uh, of, of something kind of citrus and tropical besides just orange well let's get into the, uh, the flavors now for a swig cheers soft soft palate medium body uh, maybe a little bit thicker than medium uh, but a bit sticky on the palate it is drying about a medium carbonation to this one as well uh, very very bready up front deep bread notes kind of like a uh, like a papaya um, apricot kind of up front with that and then the uh, mid-range and uh, to the kind of mild to moderate bitterness to this one it does have that kind of herbal zesty earthy tone thing going not as sweet on the palate as it was in the aromas um, but I mean the, the malt comes off with that nice that nice uh, full bread note um, so that's good I like the body feel, the mouth feel in this. I think I actually have to change that. I think it's more of a full body. It is, it is kind of filling and it does have that kind of sticky thing going for on the lips. Um, a little bit of a, of a grain like note as well. Kind of in that follow up. Uh, 
with the, the bitterness and everything, uh, the, the kind of deep bread notes, I kind of pick up a little bit of a grain type note in the, on the finish there. Yeah, light, uh, delicate um, citrus with that apricot, kind of papaya note. All right, well, let me go ahead and put down a score. Okay, so for the appearance, I'll give this a 6 out of 6. The uh, aromas, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Yeah, get a little bit of that malt in there. Uh, especially after tasting it, you can kind of get that malt, that sweetness. Um, the hops are coming off fairly well. Kind of hard to pinpoint some of the some of the notes, at least for me. But uh, yeah, 9 out of 10 isn't bad at all uh, for the aromas. Uh, the flavor... I'm going to go ahead and give this a 16 out of 19. Not really digging that kind of grainy note coming up all that much. Um, and also the, the bitterness on it, the uh, way it just goes herbal and kind of uh, earthy tone. Not really my favorite type of a bittering effect. It happens quite often with a lot of these beers. Um, I would prefer to kind of stay in like a... Like a fruity or floral uh, type plane but the body it's got it's got a real nice uh, body to this one a uh, good good palate feel as well with the softness so five out of five um, it's a very filling beer my overall I'm at an eight out of ten um, for this one so let me read what they do state on the back of the can. So I didn't really look this over because I didn't want to be swayed. And a lot of what I said is definitely not what they're talking about. It says juicy citrus. So I did kind of get a slight citrus note uh, more along the lines of apricot kind of, but a little bit of a citrus type note also. Uh, I did mention something that reminded me of grapefruit, but it didn't really, I couldn't pinpoint grapefruit, but they do mention grapefruit. Yeah. Uh, and then they mentioned dark passion fruit. I really didn't get passion fruit out of this, but they mentioned that. Yeah, and a soft mouthfeel. It does have that soft mouthfeel, so spot on for that one. And this is uh, going to score a bumpy 44 out of 50 which is going to put it as a very good beer and i just want to say cheers thank you all for watching